Hello and welcome back to part 73 of our Fallout 76 beginners walkthrough. At the end of our last video we went back and let the overseer know her house is right here by Sutton. There's her house. Let her know that we had in fact convinced both the raider gang at the crater and the settlers at foundation to take the inoculation and she essentially told us to meet her at the Nuka-Cola plant so that we could use Nuka-Cola uh, to bottle the vaccine. Uh, I have my camp just south of her house here at Sutton Station and so while we're over here in the area we're gonna go and real quick investigate this Prevost Curios. Priblos, sorry. Um, before we get started like to use my usual shout out at the beginning of each episode to recent subscribers. We've got Wendy Hickson, Charles Garcia, and Biffcake202. If there's anybody else that's a subscriber out there and you haven't heard your shout out, I'd uh, be glad to do that for you. I don't always get notifications uh, when people subscribe and I don't want to leave anybody out. So let me know in the comments. I really do appreciate all the comments. Try to respond as quickly as I can and please come through with the likes helps the algorithm so let's get moving as we can see we've still got our cold shoulder and our uh, assault rifle Skirts of uh, Summersville. <sighs> Here we've got somebody we can talk to. Don't tell anyone. But I think the food at Crater tasted like radioactive dog shit. Hey, I won't. Here's a tip. Put a few extra rounds in that radstag. Kill and tenderize. Hmm. I don't like to stab people. On the count, it dulls the blade too fast. Nothing like a little extra wood scrap. She's not going to share that with us. So here we have Privilos. So we have invoice here for traps and baits for big critters. A whopping four forty six hundred dollars paid. Didn't know the curio business made that kind of money, but and we have this note here catalog of their curios. Perhaps they can afford that because look at these prices. Some examples here on the wall. <laughs> Bits. There's the Beast of Beckley. Raymond, I'll mail you a list of things I need tomorrow. But I wanted to tell you what I found firsthand. This is big. This is the real deal. I found a dead bear, shredded by something. I don't know. I met a woman in Beckley who said there is a pale monster up here. The Beast, she said. Listen. This thing, if it is half as weird as it sounds, it could be a gold mine. 
crazy Calvin will pay out the nose for it. Yeah, Raymond, yeah it sounds Raymond, like maybe Calvin is one of their better customers. Find me by the shop outright, or we could get a new truck, or hire some help. Okay, please bring those supplies to my old fishing camp near the pond north of Beckley. This is where I caught that two-headed fish, remember? There's probably a map to my hunting camp in my old truck by the shop. So drive down here and come look for my camp. Park near my car on the road. Okay. Oh, and, um, Raymond, I'm sorry I've been on the hunt for almost two weeks. I know it's taken longer than usual, but, baby, I really think it'll be worth it this time. So we have Raymond and Janelle. Here's another letter to Raymond. I'll take that pencil. And then we have one last clue over here. The ammo box. Hear the Raiders in Somersville there going to town. Inside this locker, we have. I'll take that flip lighter. The delivery route. It's kind of just a map of where the camp is and then a track. So we'll take that. So then next, they want us to go to the delivery site, but that's way down near Beckley. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that one off. And let's get back to our quest of new arrivals. So we're going to meet the overseer at the Kanawha Nuka-Cola plant. We turn that back on. We'll go to our map. I don't know if you remember the earlier episode as we came down this road, found this raider camp, and stopped by just for the discovery bonus. I told you all we would be back here in depth later for a later quest, although I'm just going to run through this. There is lots of interesting lore here at the Nuka-Cola plant as far as developing new flavors, test subjects. Uh, if you remember the note that was left in the doghouse there near the overseer's home in Sutton, that was left from a note left from someone who worked here at the plant who kind of regretted some of the things that they did that were unethical to say. That. Yeah, we're going to have a ton of ghouls here at the plant. Oh, taking some rads. No sense in lingering there. Just about time to eat. Well, we don't really have time to talk to that guy. Get moving with our quest. She's going to be back around here, near the front door. See if that brings, wakes anybody up. Okay, 
we already know that plan, so I guess we'll leave it for another player. Plenty of adhesive. But right now, nuclear material and ballistic fiber are kind of our choke point materials. Usually there's some robots around here. Again, cold shoulder comes in handy for some close combat. And we don't really need the other stuff. There is... Um, I kind of passed by this when we were at the uh, purveyors. You can buy these maps, especially this prospector's map. And uh, these are actual legit. Oh, I hear somebody walking around. I don't want anybody sneaking up on me. Um, you can Google those if you want, or YouTube those if you want. There is some recoverable loot if you use those. Uh, just like some of the treasure maps that we have been acquiring. Again, uh, I kind of tend to do a bunch of those at once. That's why I don't take care of them as soon as I find them. This is so let's it. make sure there's... We need to get the power up and running and reformulate the machines for the inoculation. Fire everything up, and try not to get killed. Yeah, um, she's armed, but not a whole lot of help. Do a little bit of looting. Again, there's not a whole lot that we need. Like I said, just nuclear material and ballistic. I think today's daily quest is to scrap stuff for springs. I don't know why these people are drinking beer here at the soda factory, but apparently it's what it takes to work here at the welcome desk. It's a good buzz. All right. Oh. So let's get over here and start the mayhem. pin. Definite plus. So we'll head past the nuclear world globe. We gotta check out oh. We got the mysterious stranger Show up there for a second. Anybody behind us? Let's make sure. Well, 
it is possible to just jump down there if you want. Yeah, there's a glowing one. Careful there is some, sometimes uh, this guy is right over there ready to jump on you as soon as you there's some minor loot around here now this is a power coupling. We're gonna go ahead and take that. That's gonna perhaps come in useful, perhaps not. Just depends on your stats later. sure we need any of these goodies although hot plate is good for circuits I suppose and that's just good for the gear so let's go on down here to the generator oh hey come back There's usually a mob here. <sighs> ah, darn it. I was just about to say it's better to hang out back here in this doorway with the overseer behind you. Look like we took some slugs. Doing pretty good on carry weight. There's some brain fungus over here. You know, speaking of which, I think I forgot to see where we're at. Could use some soups. I'm gonna go ahead and chew this bubble gum. I really don't want to mess with that for a while. not eat our we made cranberry cobbler instead of our cranberry relish but some XP is good I tried jump starting them but the reactors are completely and here's a workshop bad power couplings oh me too there's a quantum in there so Still got this equipped from when I was shooting things with crossbows to get my archery. See, right now we're fireproof. Um, perhaps we should do the disease. Yeah, creatures. Because these ghouls do like to infect you.
go ahead and all right some more bobby pins lovely I don't think there's anything over there but it's a good chance for us to scrap some junk lighten the load and we go here and as you can see here's our can replace the power couplings but it's going to tell you you need three power couplings you can use our intelligence or luck I'm just gonna do the intelligence bonus so now that we've done that Once it fires up, I forgot to mention we'll get another swarm. Again, don't count on the overseer for much help. She's just not. Well, that's all pretty good loot there. Might as well scrap while we're here. And there's our spring challenge daily challenge and this starts the cycle of do stuff downstairs then run upstairs then come back downstairs then run upstairs I believe we already nope somehow missed that hurts. Now we've got to run upstairs. Again, I'm pretty loot heavy in my stash box, so I'm not going to do the extreme looting I'm known for. Or I should say thorough looting I'm known for. Nuka-Cola scientists were trying chemical substitutions to make new flavors. That's how we're going to trick it into making the inoculation. Correct. We just need to figure out how to make soda ingredients to produce human antibodies. Easy, right? And then lucky for us, they just happen to have this bioscanner here. So we use that. That's added your blood sample as an ingredient. I guess that technically makes you Nuka Cola's newest flavor. Actually, maybe don't think about that too much. All right, do another. Don't really need any more screws or a bone cutter. Again, it's nuclear material we're looking for. Here that we really need. Oh, I should. Well, I will take that ceramic bowl. That's another fluid for adhesive. Reminds me of the equipment back at the Vault Tech Ag Center. Let me know if you want me to take over. Well, if you can pick that if you don't have these stats. She'll sit here and monkey with this while we get rushed. Uh, I have the stat, so she will do this for you if you don't have That's the stats. It. Now we just need to manufacture the formula. While we're doing that, let's pick up a little lore. Our latest market survey reports that healthy, on-the-go snacking is up 8% across all market sectors and is expected to propel demand across the next several fiscal years. Our first experiments are going to look at reviving celery-flavored sparkling beverages. It's a beverage that has its origins in the 1860s and has a built-in recognition with demographics that crave outsider status. We think we can balance artificial flavors, package design, and marketing to convince people it has healthy benefits. <laughs> We're working with legal to figure out the limits of what we can claim, 
But right now, we're leaning towards classic digestive beverage for the new generation. And or a green tonic water from America's greatest era. So, yeah, they're, uh, let's make a, a health drink that's not really healthy <laughs> and market it that way. Here's a person reminding me I'll be on vacation from Marcus. Nuclear waste, fantastic. We needed that. So now back over here to begin the manufacturing process. Anybody home? Nope. Make sure nobody's behind us. So let's manufacture this new product. I would say our demographic is people who don't want to get sick and die. Then we get to name it. Um, it really doesn't matter what you pick, but if you do put my bloods in it, you do get some interesting uh, Well, that was um, I'm sorry. I, I just can't help but wonder what it was like to actually work here. I mean, can you believe this? Now there's some more lore here if you want to read it. See some sugar. Need that for our cranberry relish. Some more nuclear material or nuclear waste. Makes you wonder how is that an ingredient, but well. And I hear some more ramblings. One thing we, here is a terminal. We can get some hack bonuses, some more lore, and then here's a, so let's go ahead and get a little XP for this quick hack. Shouldn't be too hard. Um, let's see, where's it end in N? Got two that end in N. We got scene. So I guess it's a word that ends in N. Do we see any others? Oh. Hmm. Perhaps not. So plan has one and scene has one. So let's try fled. Maybe it's the L and E. Hmm. Keep won't work. I'm missing. All we've really got is club. Well, club has one in. Nope. Darn. Well, pretty sad. We have to wait a few minutes. I guess if we had taken the time to, you know what, I mean, we're going to have to, equip all our pick locks, so we might as well, and load up all our hackers as well. Gives us an extra try. OK, 
Okay, I see a lot of words that end in E. So type has two, which won't be have, won't be gone, won't be hate, won't be save, rope. There we go. You can read all of these. These are testing stages with various code names for various drinks. There's also the safe control if you don't have level 3 pick lock, but we do, so let's get that XP2. Thing we picked up some extra bobby pins. Seem to be a little off today. All right. Then before we get, let's get back to combat status. first aid. There we go. All right, and back downstairs to the assembly line. Again, it's, we can run back down the stairs. You can also jump back down through here. As we've already cleared the stairs, let's go ahead and head that way. Then again, this is lots it. of mobs. Why, thanks. Let's kind of get in a corner. Because as soon as you crank this up, they will all come running. two six packs of Nuka Cola. That's My blood's in it Nuka Cola. Take Real one to foundation. Where are they? There they are. <laughs> Come on. Of course we can. Now again, there's lots to do here. Lots of lore to collect. Uh, lots of good scrap. More nuclear waste. Okay. There's our nuclear waste. More sugar. Here's a more brain fungus. stuff for soup.
There's that Wendigo we got earlier. We don't really need that one. Another lock for us to pick. Well, is it this way or is it this way? Here, ah, darn it. Is it all the way? It can't be. Darn it. Yeah, I seem to have lost my touch. It has been almost a week since I've played. I don't really need any of those tools. Again, we'll go ahead and scrap while we're here. Maybe get a mod. Yay! How about that? The rare armor mod. Those might come in handy later down the road. Let's see, here's bunches of bottles with no product although that appears to be well I guess it's just because the bottles clear it looked red um, another workbench over here we want to do some armor upgrades we're gonna hold off on that for a minute so Did see somebody wandering around over here a minute ago. There he is. And I see somebody else over there. Hey, we needed that bobby pin. Thank you. Anybody else? There's a power armor station if you need to repair power armor. So anyways, you can spend a lot of time, like I said, a lot of good loot and stuff in here. Lots of XP. Um, now before we go deliver these, I'm going to pull up our map. Now is the time to do some of the quests that we received from Foundation and from Crater. So let's see, oh, stop that. Let's see if we can't hotkey some of those. We can turn off new arrivals for now. So there's retirement plan. And then there was importance of communication. And then there was the vital equipment. So let's see where those are on the map. Okay, vital equipment is over there. We don't really have a fast track to that. There's the vacuum tubes. No. Let's see about retirement plan. Where is that going to be? And that's over there. Again, we really don't have any fast travel to those. Uh, I really kind of wanted to, to do those, to cover those, but now's a good time to do those before we travel back. So we could turn those in. Um... Yeah, let's just, I guess we'll go ahead and complete the quest. Get free fast travel to Crater and Foundation. 
me just for, for the heck of it, I'll pick Crater first. Conversation with Meg. have a stash box here that we can use. Appalachia belongs to us. And there ain't nobody that can prove me wrong. Still waiting on you for that inoculation, 7-6. This is the inoculation you promised? Bottles of Nuka? You best start talking, 7-6. So we can use some of these. Clearly. And you can spare me the details. Wouldn't want you to hurt that brain of yours trying to use all the fancy words. I'll make sure it gets And you can see our Looks reputation like goes up with the raiders. See you right. However, they're still merely cautious. That's only because nothing can get to her. You ever see a scorched or soup mutant So elevator? next stop. Are you stupid? Can't push a button, but they can fly Is it daytime out there? You're either full you of can shit lose track of time much way to go. Okay. Next stop, let's go to Foundation and talk to them. Let's see. We can go ahead and do the Targets quest. So some events. Back on the beat is a pretty easy one. That's the one I used to uh, kill my my uh, 50 creatures with a crossbow to get my archery. Let's fast travel. That go a real piece. In here to talk to Paige. And the uh, one of the benefits of, of doing these little side quests for the Raiders and Foundation is every time you complete one, uh, not only will you get a reward, uh, you'll also uh, increase your affinity with each faction. And the more they like you, the better items, better unique items that you can buy from the vendors. Seems like as soon as we fix one thing in this place, I'm still waiting on that inoculation you promised. Well, here it is. What's this? Nuka Cola. Nice looking label, I guess. What gives? So we'll be nice. Well. I guess I should be impressed if you went to all the trouble of making it easy to take. Still don't know what to think of you, Paul Dweller. But, well, saving us from your plague is a good start. You watch out for you and yours out there. All right. So that should complete that. I'm going to go ahead and... turn these off since they were all in areas oh we'll go back to the main mission of the new arrivals and we need to go talk to the overseer who is going to be back at her house again I'm just going to fast travel for free since my camp is right there. 
So that's something you might want to consider when you set up your map. I mean, we now have fa free fast travel to Vault 76, where we started. So you can kind of set up your camp uh, in an area that creates an additional free fast travel to the map. Oh, you can also, there's also the Rusty Pick, which we'll talk about in a minute. As you can see from the load screen, we're now at the level 50, which is kind of the turning point in the game when you reach level 50. Maybe we'll go over some level 50 uh, perks. down the tracks to the overseer's house. Come on. Hopefully that doesn't glitch our game. <laughs> Um, but now that you're level 50, this is the highest level of weapon crafting. It's also the highest level of armor crafting. So once you get to level 50, this is kind of the time to start creating your own legendary armor and weapons. Is it done? Do they have the inoculation? It's done. <laughs> Could give her a little bit of smoke, but... A relief, huh? We'll get shipments up and running in case that first batch wasn't enough. Look, I know you're doing more than your fair share of the work. Seems like I'm doing all Don't the think work. I didn't notice. Thank you. Now that one crisis is over, it's time we start working on that mystery in the mountains. Have you heard the latest? Uh, no. <laughs> a few other people from 76 made the trek into the mountains to find this treasure we keep hearing about. It's a vault. Vault 79. Sealed tight with no obvious way in. The rumor mill about what's inside is running wild. We don't have a way in, but I think I have a plan to at least find out what's inside. Every student who graduates Vault Tech University has a story about the restricted wing where all the higher ups would have their meetings. And not just stuffy professors and their Mr. Handy assistants. I mean sit downs with government officials, the military. Over 25 years in the making for me, but it's time to finally see what it's hiding. Meet you there? All right, yes, we'll meet you back at... And there's a bloody weapon. A one star. And a new quest to meet her at Vault Tech University. And then we can also go talk to Davenport now. Here's some good stuff. We can go ahead and take that pumpkin pie to eat later. And let's say she usually has some sugar. stop by I could use your help with an important matter so he's also a quest giver wonderful now I'll explain the task 
I serve as an assistant to the Overseer, gathering information about the people here in Appalachia. We're especially interested in the settlements known as the Crater and the Foundation. The growth and development yep, of these there and seen them. is vital to the rebuilding effort, and so we constantly monitor their progress. To that end, I'd like you to take photographs that will help to keep us informed. Naturally, I'll compensate you for your efforts. So, are you interested? Uh, yep, next time we're there, we can take pictures, not a problem. Excellent. Now, which of the two settlements do you intend to visit? Well, both. I'll just pick Crater for now. Feeling brave, are you? Very well. Let me tell you exactly what we're looking for. You might have spotted the crop fields near the crater. Those crops help to provide the raiders with a steady supply of food. Should the crops fail, the raiders would be forced to seek other food sources, and a violent clash with Foundation would likely follow. Being forewarned of such a development is vitally important. Among their many eccentricities, Raiders are known to enjoy defacing monuments, often to serve as territorial boundaries. Yes, we've markers. seen quite a few as of their such, markers. The Colonel Kelly monument south of the crater might attract some interest from the more creative raiders. Best if we get a fresh look at it, just to be safe. All right. There's always some risk involved in these photographic excursions, so do be careful. Good luck to you. All right. Sure thing, Davenport. No problem. Uh, so we've got Tinker's workbench here. I'm trying to remember if there's any nuclear material or ballistic fiber anywhere here in the overseer's house. But let's go outside as there are weapon and armor benches. Here, let's run upstairs real quick. Again, I don't think there's any ballistic fiber. Well, it's a little XP though. You know how I can't pass that up. There we go. Now I'm starting to make some progress. I'll take a cap. Take a wood chest piece. Perhaps a mod. Really have all the lead we need. So nothing from her bedroom. Sometimes there's a... Hoping there was a box of bobby pins. Here's her office. We do have some military fatigues and a hat. Minor stuffs. Let's see here, I'm gonna grab that just so we do have a weapon so that I can show you about legendary mods. Alright, we'll just, uh, here I'm going to run down, I'm going to go out the door downstairs. After I check out her bathroom, again maybe some bobby pins. Nope. And back out we go. Like I said, around the corner here, we have some crafting stations, and we'll cover creating our own legendary items. So not only that, now is the time if you if there's a particular weapon you want to specialize in, 
Now's the time to craft that level 50 weapon or a particular piece of armor uh, that you're ready to upgrade. You can craft a brand new level 50. The only problem is, like I said, ballistic fiber is going to start being a choke point for you because you will need ballistic fiber as one. Let's run around the side of her house here. Here we have a weapon state. I hear a. I'm going to turn this off real quick. There. And I keep hearing a radio somewhere. Is it somewhere I can turn it off real quick? Alright, we can do cooking later. Um, gosh, I don't see that other radio right off. Attention but let's go ahead and get this done. Nuclear strike imminent. So here we Please exit want to, let's say we picked up that wood chest a minute ago. Thank you for your so if I hit modify repair, and let's say that I want to turn this into a legendary. So the thing would first to be either to find or craft your own 50. This is only a level 5, so I'm not really going to do it, but if I wanted to modify it, you can see you can do 1 star, 1 and 2, and 1, 2, and 3. So if I want to add a mod, if I wanted to do a 3 star mod, I would need 5 legendary cores and 3 legendary modules. The modules you can buy from the purveyor, but the cores you get through uh, daily quests generally, uh, especially doing the quests for the Raiders and Foundations and some of your dailies, those are how you're going to get these cores and modules to craft your own random, and it's still going to be a random three star, but three star is usually better than a one star. Now, for now, I'm going to go ahead and scrap that. No mod. Same thing if we go here to the weapons workbench. Say I want to modify and repair. And we've got that short hunting rifle. It's only a level 10. But again, if we wanted to do level 3, as you can see, slightly more, it's 4 modules, 4 and 5, instead of 3 and 5. So that's what you're going to be doing from now on. It's really looking to start fulfilling those daily quests and some of the events, hoping that you get cores and modules. So scrap this. I think I'm